every user in Moodle has their own personal file storage area known as private files. This is useful as a teacher if you like to organize your files into named folders and then store them privately until you want to display them on your course. It's also useful for students if they start work during the day, save the work in their private files, complete it at home and then submit it to the teacher as an assignment. Private files can be accessed from the navigation block by clicking My Profile, My Private Files, or there is a Private Files block which we can see here on the My Home page and which a teacher can add to their course page to make it easier for students to access. If we click to manage private files, we can see what it looks like. We can, if the browser allows it, simply drag a file into the private files area. We could click add and add from the file picker, or we can create a folder and then upload files into there. Let's create a folder called grammar. Then when we click to create the folder, we can then click into it and upload straight into this folder. I'm going to click the Add button and go to Moodle's File Picker, which we have seen in a separate video, and choose a file to add to my private files grammar folder. We can change its name if we want, change the author if we want, and change the license from default if we need. And then when we click Upload this file, it's important to remember to save the changes. If we don't save the changes and we simply just go away, we are given a message to remind us that we have to save the changes first. The private files now has the folder with a file in which we can access at a later date to display on the course.